Hey guys, what's up? Just doing a quick video for a buddy of mine. He's got this Instagram page called Bad Company Painting and he actually made me a few skulls which I'll show uh, pictures in a moment for. But he does 3D printing and these are all hand painted and he makes unofficial merch for Five Finger Death Punch and it's really well done. So I figured I'd do a quick video on the skulls I got and just his Instagram page and his business in general just to get him some kind of uh, exposure and publicity, pub yeah, can't talk today, publicity. So um, feel free to check out the links below in the description. I'll have them down there and I'll try to type up something nice for the description to get a little bit of info on them and just the business and what I went through to get the skulls and everything. Uh, I'll do some voiceover work too for the photos and stuff, kind of talking about it and explaining the pictures and stuff. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Kind of just doing this for him as a favor, just to get his the word out there about his business. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. All right, have a good one. Hey guys, so here's the first video we got going, and it's just a quick video of the smaller skulls that I got from uh, Bad Company Painting. I forgot to take video of the big skulls before I just put them up for display, so I'll have to do with these because these are the only ones that I can physically get a good look at, but uh, yeah, the white one you're seeing here is a glow-in-the-dark Ivan skull. It's got all the details of the normal one, except it's just glow-in-the-dark. That one there is a Jason Hook skull with all his facial details, like the driven tattoo on the side, the beard, the mohawk, uh, really intricate stuff. Um, the one next to it that I'm kind of trying to get a good view on because it was really hard to do from where I'm at uh, is the Ivan skull. It's got the phoenix tattoo on the side of the head, the, uh, the scar tattoo on that side, and then it's got his, I think, cobra tattoo as well. Um, and the other one next to it is pretty much the same thing, just different color. And then the last one's kind of just a custom mini skull, nothing fancy, it's got the handprint on it, really well done. You can kind of get a better view of the phoenix uh, tattoo on the right there. I wish I would have done a bit better job of trying to get that film, but you can kind of see it there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, just trying to get a good look at those to give you something to look at, kind of base it off of. Hey guys, here's the last video, and this is just a quick scroll through all the big skulls I actually got. Um, not the greatest video quality as you can see, so I'm going to play this kind of back to back so you can get a better look at them. But I got one for every band member, uh, so that'd be Zoltan, Andy, Jason, Chris, and Ivan. The details on these are really intricate and really well done with the certain skulls that have extra details like the Ivan and the uh, Jason with the tattoos and stuff. The dreads on Chris are really well done and are kind of custom for that skull. Uh, the Zoltan one looks really well with the uh, his hair, with the way he did that, and they all have LEDs as well, so they do light up, but uh, if you have any other questions, you can probably ask him on Instagram, or if you need more photos, I'll have more here coming up in a bit. Hey guys, so this part is just the photos for the skulls. Here we got an Ivan skull with custom eyes that are also X's, comes with an LED controller to change the colors on it. This one was the Zoltan skull with a kunai in the mouth. Looks pretty sick and the dreads are really well done. This is the Andy skull with a bullet instead of a kunai and a hat. Here's the Chris Kale one with uh, red links for the beard and a mustache as well as a bullet. Then you've got a Charlie one as well with drumsticks and a custom drum head as well as a kick drum on the back. And then you've got a closer up here on the custom Andy one made for me with the brass knuckles. You've got a uh, pre-production photo of the Charlie one right there. Another pre-production one of Chris. And then uh, Charlie right as he was almost done. Another one of Charlie and I forgot to include the photo of the kick drum but if you look behind it there's a kick drum on the inside. We got another picture of Charlie there as well before the painting. And then you got Charlie once he was all done. Uh, 
and the pre-production of Chris after more dreads were done and more layers and things like that. And uh, Chris, when he was just getting started, kind of, especially with the uh, dreads there. And then he got the Zoltan skull, which I'm really happy with, and I love how that one came out. Another picture of the uh, Zoltan skull there. And we'll do another one of Chris there with the dreads. That one took the most work out of all of them just because of the dreads themselves. Or I should say the most time. Uh, because he did a custom, I don't really know how to describe it, but he did the dreads in sort of a custom way, or it looks a lot different than that original photo that I had displayed over there. And you got that uh, Zoltan skull without the knife in it. And him just starting to apply the uh, dreads on that one there. And then you got your Jason Hook skull as well. I think most of these are all... Chris, we're getting started, yep. See it right there. Some other post product or pre production photos. And then a closer up of one of the painted mini skulls there. And then once the skulls were all done, I guess that's what that photo is. Jesus. And that's the video, guys. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. I will leave a link to his Instagram in the description there so you can check that out along with the um, actual description itself. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll be sure to check them out and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, that's pretty much all for me. Talk to you later. Bye.